Hello and welcome back to Japanese Snack Reviews. This is episode 11 and we're going to go through a host of different Japanese snacks that we got from various Japan crates. So we're starting off today with one from November uh, 2022, I blanked on the year then, uh, with some ponske. So these are apparently like rice snacks, uh, soy sauce flavour. I've got a cute little raccoon there. So, let's tear into it. So, I've actually exhausted most of the things from the November crate now, so we're going to have a nice mix of November, December, and maybe January. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't even know what's going to be in this episode. So, there you go. This is, it's a rice cracker, uh, essentially. It's, if you've had one, you know what it's like. If you haven't, um, you should try it. They're quite nice. Right, I'm going to go try this. Hmm, that was pretty nice, actually. Um... So the pamphlet thing that comes with the Japan Grit uh, did say it's sweet, spicy, and a little bit salty. I'm picking up on the sweet, I'm picking up on the salty. Um, I'm not really picking up on the spicy. I don't know, maybe there's like a little bit of pepper or something in it. Um, yeah, there's no real heat with this one, I think. Even if you absolutely hate hot stuff, you could happily have this. It's got that kind of sweet glaze on it that a lot of rice crackers do have um, and then it's obviously got the salt inside these are very pleasant they're really good quality rice crackers basically um yeah not much more to say right on to the next snack it's time for some smoked cheese that's right it is prets uh basically they are savory pocky now just looking at this just now it's a weird way to open it i'm gonna Try and do it this way. Hang on, be obby. Hey, never mind. I've worked it out. Uh, right. Well, I'm quite excited for this. Um, I've never really had... Pr Actually, no, I think I have had pretz once. Um, that was weird. Why do I open that up if that opens... Okay. Well, it is uh, smoked cheese flavour, as I mentioned. They are kind of... They're, they're savoury pocky, basically. Uh, they're crunchy sticks of biscuit, and these, of course, are limited flavour, I do believe. Uh, hang on. Hey, there you go. I don't know how, but this uh, this one snack has taken more jump cuts than I think the rest of the video will combined. Alright, so, wow. Okay, that is, that is thinner than I thought. Uh, right, let's see how much smoked cheese I, feel, I taste. Wow, the answer is a lot. For, like, such a tiny thing. These are very, very thin, like, biscuit sticks. That is incredibly flavourful. Um, I've only had one, and it my, my mouth is filled with the flavour of smoked cheese. That's really impressive, actually. I thought this would, like, taste a little bit of cheese and maybe a bit of smokiness, but, wow, that is, that is really rich flavour. I can easily tell that's smoked cheese there. Wow. That's impressive. That, I, I'm going to have another one. Wow. All right, then. Well... Well done to uh, Otsumami, I, I think is the is the company maybe, um, or Glico, oh Glico, or Glico. Um, yeah, wow, well done to them there. That is incredible for like such thin little things. That's that's incredibly flavorful. I'm I'm gonna like ration these out because uh, they could last quite a few days to be honest because they're so like strong. You wouldn't want to eat tons of them at a go. Very impressed. All right, on to the next snack. It's time for Kit Kats, and this one is Salt Lemon. Don't know how I feel about this one, to be honest, but, uh, you know, I like lemon, I like salt. I don't know how I feel about salt and lemon together, because lemon's kind of bitter, and salt is kind of... Ooh, I like the packaging, though. That's very funky. I like the colours and everything. That's cool. Now, I feel like I might have had lemon Kit Kat before, I think. And I want to say it's like salt and white chocolate or something. So, I've had both parts. Ooh, that's that's quite... Is that more yellow than average? I can't tell, actually. I want to say it was, but looking at it now, maybe it's not. Anyway, let's go take a bite of the salt lemon Kit Kat. That is really interesting. Um, So, it, it, it tastes really strongly of lemon. Um, on the initial bite. And then after a few seconds, the like salt kicks in with like its sharpness. And I don't know how I feel about it. I really like the lemon taste. Um, 
lemon flavored things is it? it you don't you don't see a lot so kudos to them there that is absolutely lemon chocolate um you know they got that down i don't know how i feel about the salt my, my i'm my tongue is confused if that makes sense it's like it's nice and i think it works but i don't know if i just prefer it as regular lemon um i mean the salt doesn't ruin it it just like adds a different kind of flavor i I'm, I'm really on the fence about this one let me know in the comment section if you've ever had this or if you have salt lemon regular i, I know it's a big thing with tequila but I, I i hate tequila and i'm not gonna have any tequila right now so I, I don't know it's it's interesting but yeah right on to the next snack all right it's time for something nice and seasonal that's right it is the chocolate candy cane uh, so if you remember, this came in the uh, December Japan crate because it's 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 for Christmas. Uh, so I'm gonna try and I'll be back. All right, this has been an unmitigated disaster. So the um, the sticker didn't want to come off, and when I did pull this off, like ten of these things just flew everywhere. So I'm very slowly opening it up. So inside we've got a bunch of very very small chocolate balls oh good lord uh right so i'm gonna go try some hmm those are very nice actually the shell is quite pleasant um the chocolate it's quite strong actually um it's got a bit of a, like a fruity aftertaste almost it's they're, they're quite nice to be honest and these are probably the smallest sweets i've ever eaten they are tiny they are microscopic um which is going to make finding them on the floor when they tipped even more fun. But that's not really the point of this video. Yeah, not bad. Uh, pretty standard chocolate. But, you know, kind of kind of nice as well and kind of cute. Anyway, right, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for some more roll candy. So, if you remember, uh, in the last episode we had the apple flavour roll candy. Well, today it is time for grape. Um... So, as I said in the last one, actually, grape I prefer uh, to apple. Either grape or cola are my two favourite things. So, I'm very much excited to try this. Um, so, as with the other one as well, this is much like if you're from the UK, winders, or if you're from America, fruit by the foot, I want to say it's called. So, if I can... Hey, sorry about that. Okay, it, it sort of melted slightly. But, you know where it is. It's a big roll of fruit, kind of uh, candy, I guess. Um, so, I'm going to rip a little piece off and take a bite. Hmm, yeah. i got to got admit, this um, is definitely slightly better. So, as I mentioned, apple is fine. I don't mind apple flavours. But grape is like next level for me. And this one definitely has something over winders, which is that it's a little bit thicker. There's a little bit, little bit more chew with it and stuff. But that was really nice. I mean, it is artificial grape flavour. If you don't like it, you're not going to like this. But if you are a, a grape aficionado, as I am, that, that was weird, um, then, yeah, I, I think you'd enjoy this. And there's plenty more to eat. Right, on to the next snack. All right, time for some plenty of fruit gummies. Got some koalas chilling there. So these are apple and um, grape flavour. So I, they're described as gummies, but I don't know if they're apple and grape, each one, or the separate ones. Uh, oh, I'm guessing that is maybe an ap apple? I don't know. I'm going to go give it a try. I think that was apple flavour, so I've been looking in the pack, we've got like, light ones as well, so I'm going to try a light one. Okay, so the light one is definitely apple, so the darker one is grape. Um, yeah, they're not bad, they're sort of, they're very small gummies, um, they do taste, Japanese gummies have like a distinctive taste, they definitely taste like that, if that makes sense at all. Um, not bad though, but like, they're not super, super tasty. It is a little bit hard to tell exactly what you're tasting. The apple one's a bit stronger. The grape one is, is fine, but it tastes more of like generic fruit flavour than anything else. Not bad though. I mean, you get a decent amount in a pack. That is, has a lot to keep you going. 
and those pandas, uh, koalas, still be chilling. So, yeah, not bad, not, you know, the best, but, yeah, pretty good. Right, on to the next snack. Are you ready for some Caramucho spicy sticks? I hope so, because that's up next. So, these are spicy flavoured sticks, and apparently are made using seaweed, which is interesting. I really like seaweed, so, um... I want to say I've had these before, but I didn't know that they were like seaweed flavour, but maybe... Okay, um, they don't look very seaweedy, but who am I to say? Right, let's give them a try. These are really interesting. Now, I want to say I might have had these before, years ago. Um, they're, yeah, so the, the spice, the thing that makes them spicy, has a little bit of a weird aftertaste, I will say. Um, but I can see myself getting used to it. It's kind of a little bit... It's like a mix between garlic and seaweed, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I can kind of taste the seaweed, I think. Uh, or maybe it's one of the spices, but these are quite nice. Now, they are quite thin and stuff, so these are very Moorish as well. Uh, very crunchy, but yeah. Honestly, these are really cool, actually. Um, I can see myself ordering some of these in the future, because... Uh, I'm always up for sort of like savoury snacks that are made using something that isn't just like starch or, you know, potatoes and stuff like that. And this is really cool. Yeah. Um, top marks to this. I mean, not not a five or a five, but a solid like four or whatever. Uh, right, on to the next snack. All right, it is time for some dark cherry gummies. So I can't read that because that is in kanji, but that is gummy. Dark cherry there. Um... It's been a while since I've had some cherry flavoured stuff from Japan, uh, so I'm quite curious. So I think these are, if they're like the ones I've had before, they're kind of like squishy with a sort of juice centre. Uh, oh, oh right. <laughs> I was wondering what that was for a second. That is obviously a, so it's in the shape of a cherry, and it should taste like cherry. Let's see. That was really nice, actually. I've not had many cherry sweets as I mentioned before. It's not a very popular flavour, but that I think worked really well. Uh, it's got a, quite a strong cherry taste. Now, so it didn't have the soft, like, fruit, fruity centre that I assumed it was. It was just a gummy kind of jelly thing throughout. But I think that was really nice, actually. It had a, a fairly nice texture to it. It's, it's pretty standard gummy or whatever. And yeah, that, like, the the... Uh, flavour lost for quite a while. I can still taste cherry even now. Yeah, you know what? That That is probably one of my favourite things from this episode so far. These are really nice. I'm gonna like only have a few at a time I think so I can really savour them. Uh, right, on to the next snack. Alright, it is time. Some Japan Pride Potato. Uh, so these are potato chips and this is, this is olive uh, olive salt flavour, which is interesting. Uh, I think, according to the little booklet, it said that it uses um, authentic olive oil or something. Um, and then it tastes of salt as well. I think... I've had fried potato before, but I think it was wasabi salt. Hang on. Hey, there we go. Yeah, so I think the previous one I had was wasabi salt, and that... That was pretty nice. Um, it was a little bit... You know, it, it was a little bit subtle, so... Oh, hang on, I've got two of them. But So these are the potato chips. Let's see if they taste of olive oil. That is really nice, actually. Um, the the flavour is stronger than I anticipated, actually. I remember the wasabi one was a little bit mild, but this is all out. Uh, you can really taste the olive oil in it. Um, it's obviously salted. I mean, it's a potato chip. That is really nice, though. That, that's that's incredibly Moorish. It's very um, umami heavy, uh, if that makes sense. Yeah, honestly, pride potato are usually kind of like a higher tier of potato chips and stuff. The, you know, there's a smaller bag, but higher quality. Uh, and this definitely keeps that trend going. That is really nice, actually. I'd consider buying this again. Um, yeah, not maybe the best I've ever had. Um, I mean, I prefer crunchier, like thicker crisps. But, you know, as it goes, these are really nice. Right, on to the next snack. All right, it's time for some Ichigo milk. Uh, an interesting thing as well on this, so it says Ichigo Miruku, 
but milk is uh, written in hiragana, despite the fact that milk obviously is a western word. Um, unless, I'm presuming that the Japanese don't use the word milk, I'm sure they've got another word for it. But anyway, these are strawberry flavoured milk chocolate things, I think. The packaging uh, is reminiscent of a milk carton, I want to say, in Japan. Uh, so, let's grab one of these things out. Oh, you know, I don't know why, I thought these were like milk chocolates, but they're, they're clearly not. Uh, cool, well, they are triangles of, I'm guessing, strawberry milk flavoured sweet. Let's give them a try. That was really nice. Um, so that lasted quite a while, actually. Um, obviously it's a like hard candy thing, and honestly, the flavour is really interesting. So, I've had a few like milk flavoured stuff or like milkshake flavoured sweets in the past, and this is a little fruitier than I actually anticipated. So, obviously, a taste of strawberry milkshake basically, but you get more kind of like smooth strawberry flavour, if that makes sense. Um, usually, they taste kind of like milky, obviously. Um, but yeah, honestly, this is quite nice. It's a lot fruitier than I thought, and it's just right. It's not overbearingly sweet or whatever, but it's it's really strong as well. Yeah, the this is um, very impressive, honestly. Uh, and there's there's a decent amount in here actually. When I saw it, I was like, oh, this will be a very small snack. But I imagine this this would last you a while actually. Yeah, big kudos to them there. Right on to the last snack of the video. All right, one more snack before the last one, actually, and it is another Puku Puku Tai, and this time it's lemon tea flavour. So if you saw the last episode, uh, episode 10, I had the chocolate flavour, I think, which is the kind of more standard Puku Puku Tai. Uh, it was quite nice, the chocolate inside was quite airy and, um, and light, I guess, would be the word. So this is the same kind of thing, it's a biscuit version of a taiyaki, but it has lemon chop, lemon tea flavoured chocolate, I guess, because it does say it's choco somewhere, I can't remember, somewhere on the packet. So, as with the last time, I'm going to bite it, ooh, ooh, his tail has crumbled a little bit, there you go, well we can see that is the chocolate, it is yellow, which is interesting. Uh, right, I'm going to go take a bite out of this tail. Hmm, that is weird. So, with the last one, as I said, it was very airy, uh, quite light, but you know, we got a quite a strong chocolatey taste. This one's a bit weird. You do taste lemon for a little bit as you're like biting into it, but the lemon taste kind of disappears quite quickly. You do get an aftertaste of it. But yeah, I don't know, it's more, it's not as strong as I expected it to be, and expected it to be quite kind of subtle. Yeah, um, it's not bad. I do like the crunch and everything, and like the feeling of the bubbly chocolate and stuff. Um, I'm not, I'm not wild on puku puku tai. They're nice as kind of a you know a unique kind of snack thing, but yeah, I don't know. They 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 never feel like you're getting a lot for the size of it. If that makes sense. Um, but you know, not bad. It's it's a unique one. I don't think we've had lemon chocolate before. Um, well, actually, apart from the Kit Kats, I guess that would count as lemon chocolate, wouldn't it? Anyway, on to the last item, which is a DIY kit. Alright, it is time for the final thing, and that is a DIY kit. It is the Choco Kinako Mochi. Um, this seems like a fairly simple one. You just add water to the little mochi circle things there, you add chocolate and like um, crumbly topping, I guess, and you just dip it in. Uh, the only thing that's slightly putting me off is the instructions say to use between 20 to 30 millilitres of water. Um, I don't really have anything that measures that small. Hang on. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I don't really have anything that measures quite that small, but I have sort of jerry-rigged it, uh, I think. So, these are little dehydrated mochi discs. Um, feel very brittle. But I think that, you know, the point is you add water to them and stuff. Um, and these are the toppings. So, ooh. Ooh, wow, that chocolate is <laughs> it's a little bit kind of hard. I guess I'd need to massage it. But yeah, so you got like 
kind of biscuity powder, I guess. Some chocolate, a fork of course, and lots of mochi. So I add water to this, uh, 20 to 30 millilitres, I add those there, and I'll leave them transform. And I go away and do that now, because it's going to be really difficult to do on camera, because it's very, you know, finicky. But I will be back with the, um, with the hydrated mochi. BRB. Alright, I'm back. So it wasn't quite as bad as I thought. Uh, I used a measuring jug and just kind of guessed what, like 25 uh, millilitres. I feel like I might have still put a little bit too much water here, but I mean it's hard to tell. But anyway, let's get okay. Let's get a singular mochi disc. Uh, it's hard to like get a lot of purchase, so a bit of chocolate. <laughs> wow, literally a bit of chocolate. Okay, there you go, and let's get. A nice powdering. It is kind of falling over into the chocolate part, but I mean, hey, that's how it is. Right, let's have this delicious looking chocolate covered mochi. Hmm, I've got to say, you know what? That is a lot better than I was expecting. Um, the chocolate is actually quite nice. It's quite, it's quite rich, actually, uh, surprisingly. And the little powdery topping stuff uh, is sweeter than I thought. I thought it was just going to be like kind of cereal-y kind of thing where it doesn't have much flavour, but that's actually quite sweet. So I'm going to have one more. One more, there you go. Uh, let's see if I can get more chocolate on this one. Not really. Hmm. The thing is, the chocolate's a little bit hard and the mochi's a little bit too soft. So it's hard to like... I'm just getting chocolate on the on the fork, can't I? Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's cover that. Oh, oh my god, I am making a horrible mess of this. Right, I'll eat this before it falls off my fork. Well, <clears throat> that was... That was interesting. I will be eating the rest of this, uh, just off camera, because it's going to be a little bit easier to do. I feel like... I, I think I had one of these years ago. And I think the downside is, it's really hard to get the right amount of water. Um, with things like this, sometimes they give you like a snap-off kind of like plastic thing that you fill with water. I feel like that would have been perfect. Just kind of getting 20 to 30 millilitres is very difficult. But, you know, overall though, this was a pretty good DIY kit. Um, and one of the better ones. The chocolate's nice, the topping's nice. The, I mean, the mochi's mochi. It doesn't taste very strongly of anything, but that's what mochi is like. But that about wraps up this episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will, of course, be making more in the future because I've still got loads of snacks from other Japan crates because I'm very, very much behind. A lot of these uh, snacks actually have been from the November and the December boxes. So March ones is just around the corner. I think it's going to be arriving in a week or two. So um, I'll be doing these for the foreseeable future. Um, if you did enjoy, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for your view. I will be leaving a playlist to other Japanese snack reviews in the corner there. I'll leave YouTube to decide another video for you there. And yeah, until next time, goodbye.